This is the one where I show a student how to correctly turn in their project made in Google Sites so that I can see it on the Google Classroom and give you a grade. Here we go. Looks like Logan's about ready to go. So he's going to go do a few steps to make sure that I get his website just the way he wants it to look. First, what do you think you're going to do? Get your Gmail. Well, you know that already, right? All right, first thing you're going to do is publish your site right here. Now, he's already published it once, but right now it's showing the changes between what he had published before and the current version of the site. So if he likes that current version, you can hit publish. The next thing that Logan will do is to make sure his site is shared with me, my email address. Here's how it works. Yeah, he went up to the person with a plus, and now he's going to, he can see that he has access to his own site. See if you scroll down, maybe you'll see me. There's Mr. Conklin. So he's, there it is. <coughs> if you don't have it already on the scroll, you might just have to look it up. You got it. Right All right. If you've published your site, you'll see that this little link is not grayed out. It's dark gray, which means that you can actually use it. So click on that. This is showing you the URL address of the actual website where it exists in Google servers. So he's going to hit copy link. We're in Logan's Google Classroom right here where he found the assignment originally and he wants to turn it in. So he's going to add or create. He's going to link. Now all he has to do is paste. If you don't know how to paste, you can do it on your keyboard with the keyboard shortcut, Command V. There are other ways too. Add link. Did you go hit turn in? There it is. Now I have access to Logan's website so I can look at it just like I'm surfing the internet and finding his site. Thanks for paying attention. Good luck with yours.